So this is the virtual signs checklist. So we already did the visual and tangible observation checklist um, where you're observing for like physical features that you could observe. And then we also did um, the st skin turgor test and the membrane test. Now we're going to go a little bit into like vital signs, like things that um, are probably one step um, away from what your vet's going to do when they get there. So uh, please follow, I'm going to just read through it. Um, follow the steps below to create a checklist that someone could use at a livestock facility to record vital signs for an animal that has been identified as sick. So this animal's already been identified as sick, okay? You're going to create a document that a livestock facility will use in order to record vital signs. Your document should be laid out so that a person can pick it up, fill it out quickly while checking the animal's vital signs. Again, key thing here is that it's easy to use, easy to run through, and it's universal. So anyone can pick it up. Your document should have a space to record the following information on it, along with a space to identify whether it is regular or irregular. So you're going to have a space where a person can write in the pulse rate. What did they actually hear when they counted the pulse? What did they hear when they did the respiration rate, when they checked the body temperature? You want a space where they can actually write in a number, okay? And then right next to it, you want a space where they can, where they can circle this is regular or this is irregular. So they're going to write a number, and then they're going to circle whether this is regular or re irregular. So if the pulse rate is super high, they're going to write the number, and then they're going to circle, this is irregular, this is super high. And then someone can look through and say, okay, pulse rate, respiration, and body temperature are all irregular. This is a situation where we need to call a vet, okay? In order to create like kind of a little cheat sheet for people as well when they're using this document, you're going to insert a table at the bottom showing normal vital signs for the following livestock. So you're going to put pulse rate, respiration rate, body temperature, for each of the livestock um, to show what is regular. So we're gonna do swine, cattle, goats, and horses, okay? And I'll show you my example table if you wanna just copy it. Um, so here's that table um, that I was telling you about here. Um, it just it has pulse rates, respiration rate, body temperature across the top, and then the three category or the four categories of livestock that we're dealing with. So um, if a normal pulse rate for um, swine was, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say um, 80 to 90. I would just type that right in there. Respiration rate, I'm gonna say 102 to 300. These are completely inaccurate. Temperature, a thousand. Remember, it should be kind of a normal range, really, um, because, um, that's what it should be. It's some kind of range, okay? So you can copy and paste this table right into your document. I don't mind. Um, I created it for you guys to kind of see what it's supposed to look like. Um, so um, you can copy it right from here if you want. That's it.